episode of Toy Box Movie Reviews is brought to you by Eternal Curse. Not a fan of either romance or fantasy stories, Toy Thomas's debut novel Eternal Curse combined these two styles to hold my attention from beginning to end. Author Neil James. Eternal Curse is the story of a man who may just be the answer to a spiritual war swiftly heading his way, but for now he just wants to be a man. Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel, available online and wherever books are sold. Hello and welcome to Toy Box Movie Reviews. Today I am reviewing the film Stand By Me as part of a monthly blog hop called Mock Squid Soup of Film Society. I'll only be doing one of these reviews once a month. Um, well, yeah, once a month, but I'll also be doing another movie review that's not associated with that film society once a month as well. Uh, you can check in the description to to, uh, below to learn more about that uh, film society. This review will consist of me asking myself 10 questions and answering them to the best of my abilities because that's the only way I knew how to do a movie review and make sure I hit the points that matter to me. So, um, let's get started. Here I go. What is this film about? In my own words, this film is about four friends learning just how harsh reality is when people aren't trying to sugarcoat things. Gordy, Chris, Teddy, and Vern head out to find a missing boy's body in hopes that they'll become local celebrities. But along the way, they learn about the frailty of human life, the unavoidable truth of death, and the power of true friendship. So, what did I think of the title, poster, or trailer? I saw this movie a long time ago and don't remember the trailer, though I'm sure I could look it up. I remember as a kid not understanding why the movie was called Stand By Me, since no one actually says these words in the film. Thinking of the title and looking at the poster makes me think it will be a sad movie, but now I know it's so much more than that. So what did I think of the main characters and the actors who performed them? I like these characters and also the cast. Watching child actors is always a bit unnerving because you want them to be good in their role, but there's always the chance that they're just not ready for the part. The only character I had a bit of a problem with in this film was that of the junkyard owner. Still to this day, I don't know why he was so mean and obsessive with the boys, constantly yelling at them, come back here. There aren't many happy characters in this film, even though the overall message seems to be one of encouragement. River Phoenix does an outstanding job as Chris Chambers and is a talent that left too soon. Who knows what he would have accomplished in his field. Unfortunately for Corey Feldman, all of his be best work happened in his youth. Perhaps he lost his passion for the craft somewhere along the way. Will Wheaton and Jerry O'Connor also play their parts well, but for some reason I don't think their roles were as challenging, although I do feel that Wheaton was the perfect choice for Gordy. What did I think of the direction and cinematography? Well. I always seem to enjoy films that take place in Castle Rock, Oregon, especially since it's not a real place. This film is directed by Rob Reiner and is an example of his classic masterpiece. There are no special effects or high-tech lighting and filtering done in this film. It tells a simple story and is shot to reflect that. I like that Reiner is able to capture a sense of vastness throughout the film using wide angles and shots of the sky. In the film we follow four boys on a journey of discovery within their small community and even their own isolated worlds. But as a viewer you never lose sight of the fact that all of this is relative to these specific characters. Nothing that happens in the story is going to affect the world but it will affect um, the lives of those that are involved. What did I think of the soundtrack and score? I thought that the soundtrack was a lot of fun. It consisted of a lot of mainstream um, rock and roll classics to reflect the time in which the story takes place. The score on the other hand is quite different. Whenever there was music present that wasn't something that the people were supposed to be listening to on the radio, it was sad and serious music. 
There are times in the film when you will just laugh out loud, but the score would always come along shortly to remind you of the seriousness of the film. Even the character Gordy points out in one scene when he says that finding a boy's body shouldn't be a party. The title song Stand By Me performed by Benny King is so fitting for this film. There's really nothing more I can say about that. So what did I think, um, oh, so what did I like about the story as a whole? Overall, I adored the story. It's a wonderful coming of age tale that's not too sappy, but it does pack an emotional punch. I also, um, the film is full of comical moments that stick with you long after you've watched it. I still chuckle every time I think, what the hell is Goofy? <laughs> so what did I not like about the story? Okay, the main thing about this story that I didn't like was the whole train dodge scene. And I'm not talking about the scene where the character of Teddy is acting like a child because he is one. I'm talking about the scene where the characters have to pretty much run for their lives across train tracks over a bridge. So I seriously don't care if I knew that the rail system had been completely dismantled. I would have never taken my time walking across that bridge. I would have crossed it as quickly as possible from the start. And as far as friendship goes, if Vern didn't care enough to keep both him and Gordy from being killed with his hysterics and slowness, Gordy should have stepped over him and moved on. Sorry about the rant. It'll happen from time to time. So let's see. Would I recommend this movie to others? Yes, I would definitely recommend this to others. If so, who and what would I rate this movie? I would actually say that this is a good family film for preteens and up. There is an issue with language and some of the themes, but it could be good for families um, as a way for them to talk about things they would normally just ignore. On a scale of one to five reels, I give this film five movie reels. Was there anything in this movie that could be related to me or anything that I've written? Well, let's see. I really love the fact that in you know in the film the character Gordy wants to be a writer. I wish I knew at his age that that's what I wanted to do. Some of the themes in the film didn't seem so profound to me as a kid, but now they're truly thought provoking. Crappy parents, more specifically fathers, is always an interesting topic, and it's one that I write about in my story. It's like the full moon, which is soon to be published. Then there is the issue of gun safety and gun control. Now I know this film is a reflection of the time, but kids playing with guns is no laughing matter. I haven't written about this specific topic, but I have um, touched on ideas of destruction by youth in my short story, Legend of the Void. And this has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I've written, but I love the fact that this movie is based on a novella written by Stephen King called The Body. Well, <laughs> that all seemed like a mouthful, but I hope it wasn't too painful. That's all I have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this movie review of Stand By Me, and I hope that you will follow along and join me again for other movie reviews down the road. In the comments below, please tell me what you think of this film. What would you have rated it? Also, if you can, you know, share with me one of your favorite quotes or scenes from the movie. Mine is at the very end when Chris tells his dear friend Gordy, not if I see you first. You may have to see the film to get that reference, but that line really speaks to me. Also, my next Toy Box movie review will be Safety Not Guaranteed. And um, let's see, you, if, you, if you haven't seen the movie or even, you know, if you have, you can tell me about it. You can follow me on Twitter and tell me what you think of the film. Use the hashtag ToyBoxMovies and you'll have a chance to be featured in my next episode. So again, that's Toy Box Movies, and you can tell me either, you know, what you think Safety Not Guaranteed is about. If you've seen it, you can tell me about it, or you can even also tell me about today's episode. And um, that's it. So um, if you, also, if you think you might be interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a Toy Box episode, just um, check out eToyThomas.com to learn more. Now, next Monday, I'll be posting an episode of Pop Quiz Pressure, 
and that's a different kind of show so be sure to check it out so until next time this is Toy Thomas saying I think that authors are just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars see ya